Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Verowag, and today I'm watching The Last Samurai with Tom Cruise. Well, not with Tom Cruise. I guess I could, I guess I could, right? I could probably have like a little Tom Cruise figurine here. Oh gosh, that would, that would get complicated. Okay, anyways. Um, Tom Cruise is starring in the movie. There we go, that's clear. And I've wanted to see this movie sort of since it came out, but I keep forgetting about it. I don't know too much about it other than it's like a war movie. And I'm assuming the story is one of those very, I think it's a very typical story where um, Tom Cruise, the main character, is, let's say, an American. Well, I'm, probably, I'm assuming he's an American. Does he do accents? Has Tom Cruise done an accent, a non-American accent in his movies? I'm very curious. I don't know. But anyways, he's not, a, he's not cast as a Japanese um, person. That's all I know. So Tom Cruise is some sort of American military person who gets captured or is basically stuck in a Japanese village. And he's like, I guess he might, he's, he's probably wounded or something. And then he gets healed back up and he sort of switches sides and fights for the Japanese after he sort of... Um, gets some training and is a samurai. So I guess he sort of like changes allegiances. That's all, that's that's my guess. I think that's like a typical storyline and that's what I'm sticking to. If you're interested in seeing the full length reaction, you could do so by signing up to my Patreon. It's in the description and that's where all my full length reactions go. This movie is actually the winner of a Patreon poll. I'm gonna have a few more Patreon polls, uh, different war movies for different like time periods, I guess, I don't know because I haven't seen many war movies. I haven't seen uh, like Black Hawk Down or Saving Private Ryan or I think Full Metal Jacket has something to do with ARMY. Without further ado, don't forget to grab a snack and or a drink. I've got my lemonade and water. This is the last of my lemonade. I need to get more. It's so delicious. It's so like satisfying. But anyways, let's just hop right in and watch Tom Cruise as the last samurai. Japan was made by a handful of brave men. Warriors willing to give their lives for what seems to have become a forgotten word, honor. 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 Oops, it's huge. Hopefully they're not saying anything important. No. Is that, um, oh my God, what is the name? I don't know his name, but uh, Inception? Oh my God, look at this slow motion. Yeah, it is. Ken Watanabe, I think? I feel like in the early 2000s, mid-2000s maybe, there's a lot of slow motion and it just, it makes me laugh now because it looks so weird. Winchester. Oh, that's Tom Cruise, American flag? Oh yeah. Got it. One of the most decorated warriors this country has ever known. That's a big swig. That's your cue. This, ladies and gents, is the gun that's winning the West. Oh gosh. And if he'd have had his way, why this scalp of mine would be long gone. Like those poor bastards out there. Uh oh. Is he going off script? Body stripped bare. Mutilated. Definitely off script. Now, son, have you ever seen what this could do to a man? Is he gonna shoot it in here? There's a blow hole in your daddy six inches wide. Note the patented loading port and the smooth cocking action. Jeez. He's making a lasting impression. Mr. McCabe here will take your orders. God bless you all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he seems pretty sick of it. Great performance. I have a good job for the both of us. God knows it looks like you're gonna need one real soon. What kind of a job? War? The only job you're fit for, boy. Japan's got it in mind to become a, a civilized country. And Mr. Omura here is willing to spend what it takes to hire white experts to train their army. We will pay you $400 a month. Ooh. 
Hard to say no to that. How many other genuine heroes you've got lined up? Just you? I did what I was ordered to do out there. And I have no remorse. For 500 bucks a month, I'll kill whoever you want. I keep one thing in mind. I'd happily kill you for free. <laughs> well, I feel like in the end he's gonna end up killing him. Captain Organ, I presume? Yes. Oh, jolly good. 20 years ago, this was a sleepy little town. Is he, um, Harry Potter? Peter Pettigrew? The Emperor is the most interested in your American Indians. The Red Man is a brutal adversary. The Emperor wishes to ask Captain Olguin. They're very brave. It feels like he shouldn't be uh, speaking because he's gonna—he can say anything. Step back. I'm tired. <laughs> Synchronization. Right, you little bastards! You will stand up straight. Um, they all speak English. The first rank will kneel. Rifles at the ready. No, they do not. Got it. You must understand, Katsumoto pledged his sword to defend the Emperor. Bastards are still wearing armor. Ha 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 ha. Colonel Bagley, these people had nothing to do with the raids. Quietly now, boys. Oh, are they killing innocents? Oh, this is where it all happened. It His uh, disdain for the army, right? Yeah, and he said he was just following orders, killing children. Okay, got it. Fire! That is some good aim. Nathan! What? Katsumoto has attacked the railroad at the border of his province. He must be stopped now. These people aren't ready? They're not ready. The rebels don't have a single rifle. They're savages with bows and arrows. You will track him down and engage him. I can't wait till he has his revenge against that dude. Tell this man, if he does not shoot me, I will kill him. Tell <laughs> him. No! Master! Yeah, they're definitely not ready. Shoot me, damn it. It's a win-win for him. Fire, Ute! Okay. Oh, oh man, I knew he wasn't gonna hit, but still, the tension. The regiment leaves at 6 a.m. Oh. They're doing well making us hate this army. We are not here as combatants. And who's gonna lead these men? They're on offices, for Christ's sake. Let's move to the rear. We'll be there presently. Oh, it's infuriating. Mr. Graham, you'll accompany me to the rear. Well, Get of course, out. Mr. Graham will. Why would he? Why would he be anywhere near combat? Sergeant Gant, report to the rear. Sergeant Gant, did you hear my order? I did indeed, sir. Good, then you will obey it. Now, no disrespect intended, sir, but shove it up your ass. Oh, his friend's gonna die. Load. Load! And then he's gonna get. Uh, Injured slash captured. At least if they're all densely packed, the odds of shooting one I increase. Their armor looks awesome. I mean... When they're not ready, they're not ready. I didn't know he had a non-gun melee weapon. Oh yeah, he's dead. Ouch. Is that a sign? Capture him. Oh, he's so getting ready to... Stop him! Ah! 
Oi. Oh, that dude. He's in Lost and Westworld. Well, there he goes. That's the uh, the general dude that didn't want to go against uh, him, right? And he's doing that because the samurai honor tradition honor thing. Japan looks so nice. Look at that. Look at that. The mountains. I want to live near mountains. I don't live near mountains. So he got stabbed a couple times, right? What is your name? He didn't bleed out. He's like, I just don't care. Do it. Jose, this is my son's village. We are deep in the mountains and the winter is coming. You cannot escape. Jolly good. Jolly good. <laughs> what? <laughs> wakey, wakey. No eggs and bakey. Is that his grandson? Oh, he's awake. Maybe you would like food. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no food for you. It is not their custom at all to kill themselves, no. It makes sense. I mean, I, I don't know why he doesn't kill him. Okay. Keep him alive, got it. I mean... He's, maybe he's, uh... He's, like, in, in withdrawal. Flashbacks, PTSD. Sake. A diet of alcohol. It's my house. Please. Sake. <laughs> nope. I like just like shutting the door. He's quite the um the, the attraction for all the villagers. I don't know when winter's coming, it seems pretty warm. That's a lot of skill. Archery on horseback? It seems like impossible for me. Oh, is he walking indoors with his shoes? No! You're not in the States, don't do that. Oh. Oh, oh my... Oh, what a, who, who does that? What's your name? You got a name, don't you? Namae. Nam... Nam... Namae. Nami, Namai. You're angry because they make you wear a dress. Yes. Gonna go see, um... It's not Matsumoto, is it? No. Yes? Maybe. My name is Katsumoto. Katsumoto. There we go. I will practice my English with you, if you would honor me. You kept me alive just to speak English? No. No. Then what do you want? To know my enemy. I've seen what you do to your enemies. Warriors in your country do not kill? They don't cut the heads off defeated kneeling men. General Hasegawa asked me to help him end his life. Because he's a samurai. A samurai cannot stand the shame of defeat. I was honored to cut off his head. Yeah, different customs, Not to Nathan. introduce yourself is considered extremely rude. Nathan Ogren. I'm honored to meet you. I have enjoyed this conversation in English. Who's a warrior in the red armor? 
My brother-in-law. And the woman who cares for me. My, my sister. sister. Hinataro's wife, Taka. Oh. I killed her husband? It was a good death. Oh, the dude at the end. Okay. There we go. You're learning. Time to romance Taka. Taka is eagle, I think. Hawk? Eagle? Promising young lad. Nicely done. Fly. <laughs> the kid's doing pretty good. Uh oh. I hope they become best friends just because I like that actor. He only uses one hand. Ouch. Ouch again. Did, is Hans Zimmer the composer? He is! I could tell by the music! Nice! Point for Vero. It's just never gonna let go. It's so many hits to the side of the head. Ouch! Ujo is teaching you the way of the Japanese sword. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and who was your general? His name was Custer. He killed many warriors. So he was a good general. No. No. No, he wasn't a good general. A thousand Indians? How many men for Custer? 211. I like this general Custer. <laughs> I think this is a very good death. Well, maybe no. you can have one just like it someday. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> It's okay, Bob. It's okay. In spring, the snows will melt and the passes will open. Until that time, you are here. Half a year of vacation? I mean, they've treated him nicely. I would welcome the vacation. I don't know. <laughs> Gonna play nice now. <laughs> so many bruises. Oh, gosh. There... Is he getting his own dress now? <laughs> Much more uh, movable, isn't it? Than restricting pants. Hello. It's like when you're dancing in your room and someone walks in, you're like, oopsie, we're in the kitchen. I'm sorry? Oh, he's like an expert. Oh, yeah, this dude that killed your husband? Yeah. He gets to live with you now. I don't see Bob. Oh, there we go. There's snow. Now it's winter, for sure. And look, they're having conversation. Good conversation. What does it mean to be samurai? To seek a stillness of your mind. And to master the way of the sword. Look at all this nice, tranquil snow and, uh... He's not! Sorry. Good guy, Nathan. I don't know if he understood. Is it safe to assume he did? Oh, there we go. Now they can. Now we can leave. No mind. There we go. Nathan will win in five moves. Oh, a tie. Devote your entire life doing this, and then this dude shows up. And in six months, he ties you. That must not feel great. Oh no, are they gonna get attacked? No! 
Crossbows, no! Oh gosh, this is not good. You can't even see them. Oh, there we go. Damn crossbowmen. Come on, Nathan, protect the children. Take the sword. There you go. Oh. Never mind. Oh. The kid basically saved everything. Look at that. Fighting together. Best friends? The Emperor has granted a safe passage to Tokyo. We we'll leave tomorrow. What if he doesn't want to leave? When I took this, you were my enemy. But not anymore. They don't want him to leave. Maybe you shouldn't leave. Or maybe he's gonna go and like kill his officer, captain, lieutenant, colonel. I don't know ranks and ar army at all. So a safe passes to Tokyo for like, is it to deliver him? Or like, are they going to talk? After living with those savages, I can only imagine. They're not savages. Ugh. Welcome back, Captain. Kill him now. But he could ask for advice? Captain Holgren, perhaps you and I might have a word in private. Either I will stop him at the council today, or you will lead my army against him. He doesn't... It is not an offer. He doesn't want that. He still has a horse. He can still go back. No, that's his son. Don't do it. That... That sword knife isn't very sharp now, is it? <laughs> Douchebags. Jolly <laughs> good. Jolly good. I love it. <laughs> Katsumoto Sangi. Kasanete on the guys through. Chokure Dori Katano Haiki stay to the Kai. Osorinaro. Okami no Koishi. We're just all waiting. Satangaruma de Tokyo no Gojita Kunita Kinshi Nagai. I'm a little confused on how everything, what, what everything is going on. I feel like I've missed something and I don't know what, when. Well, it is pretty much over. Katsumoto's under arrest. Amura won't let him last the night. And Help him break free. Katsumoto dead. You should have little trouble handling what's left of the rebellion. Or. Even without you. Lead the rebellion. Just tell me one thing. What is it about your own people that you hate so much? You? Killing innocents? So many things. Does he not get a sword? You didn't bring a sword to a sword fight, did you? Oh, that's embarrassing. No mind. Easy. Ooh, dual wielding. <gasps> How's your poem coming? He's <laughs> like, what the hell's going on? I thought you'd return to America. No. I decided to stay, see if I could convince you to escape. How do you plan to do that? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. Everyone's been alerted. Oh, this is not good. No. He, he already... No! Nathan, go save him! Hey! 
He's gonna hold them off. I feel like he could have hid behind the tree and waited and then just, you know, destroyed them all. I know some words from watching anime. Already? Couldn't you they give him like a few more, you know, years? What do you have in mind? Take away the advantage of their guns. We're overconfident we use that. Lure them close. How so? This is exciting. I like combat with swords. <laughs> I don't know, I just find this shutting the door just hilarious. Oh, the armor! He didn't train with armor, though. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be weird? Hopefully the red armor is not bad luck. One person already died with it. This is adorable. You will need this. What does it say? I don't know what it says on it. I belong to the warrior in whom the old ways have joined the new. Pretty damn accurate. It's like perfect for him. I feel like I don't... I feel like they... I don't know if they'll win. I want them to win. I don't know if they will. I feel like they should. Good God. Good God indeed. Jolly good. Captain Ogre. <laughs> we will show you no quarter. You ride against us, and you are the same as they are. I'll look for you on the field. <laughs> He's not going to be on the field. He's going to be like all the way at the back. Coward. <laughs> Very impressive they're not flinching. I, I would be terrified. They're going to get hit now. Ah. Smoke screen. They're covering their retreat. Signal the attack. I'd advise sending in skirmishers first. No, sir. Full attack. Well, full attack it is. Split their army. The arrows will block out the sun. It's raining arrows. The attack has been stopped. Send in the rest of the regiment. What happened to the warriors at Palmapoli? Dead to the last. Man. Yeah, I was gonna say they died. <laughs> at least it's it's easy to tell who's on your team. Usually it's hard to tell, but this here it's easy. No! Bob! Don't die! Bob's gonna take the hit. He protected him! Ow. Stab. Oh, well, there we go. I was thinking that there's no way they can win, but maybe? No, not the horse! Never- oh, They always go for the horse. Bastards. I hope they all die, all of them. No! Not the blue armored dude, right? Oh, that dude. The one that kept losing the bets. Oh, his eye! Son of a bitch thinks he can win. Maybe you should go in combat and see if it's possible. No!
It's like a friggin' sea of dead bodies. Look at Hug. You do not have to die here. I should have died so many times before. It was not your time. Maybe now it's his time. Kill him. Four of them. Now! My horse! Is he just giving up? Or is he going in combat? I don't know how he can aim with cannons, but um, good luck, I guess. Oh, he's going... Oh, he's so gonna die. No, fire at Nathan! Fire at Nathan, not Will! He's just like tanking all the hits. No! Damn it. Throw the sword! Oh yeah. That's not good. It's like a 300 type thing where they all die, isn't it? Side by side with a friend. He was born ready. <laughs> They're all like, what do we do? This is great. This is Katsumoto's sword. He would have wanted you to have it. No, you don't weep. Shush. That you would remember the ancestors who held this sword and what they died for. Hiko! Cancel the treaty. Cancel everything. You were with him at the end? I. Emperor, this man fought against you. Oh, shush. Ambassador Swanbeck. I have concluded that your treaty is not in the best interest of my people. Tell me how he died. With honor? I will tell you how he lived. And so the days of the samurai had ended. As for the American captain, no one knows what became of him. Oh, he's living. Did he return to his own country? He's in Japan. And he can finally stop fighting. I really like this movie. I am a little bit confused, though. Um, so he left... The Americans, well, whatever, I'll call them the American side and the samurai side. So he left the Americans because he was captured, well, sorry, he was captured, and then he was re-delivered, but then he decided to stay with the samurai and ditch the Americans. So he helped the samurai against the Americans, but um, at the end, when him and Katsumoto were injured, he helped him, um, like, kill himself. And then I guess he was okay with the American side again? I'm not really sure how that works. I'm really not sure because technically he left them, so wouldn't that be like treason? And then, but he's back, or he's like just char- I don't really know how that- I don't know how he's still alive. How he was allowed to live, I guess. Maybe because he helped Katsumoto like keep his honor and his samurai? I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. That's my big confusion right now. I'm not sure how he's allowed to live. I really enjoyed it. I think it was good. The story was 
uh, I feel like a for uh, like a formulaic, which is fine. The first part and the second part, I didn't know it was going to be like a 300 type thing. I think it's a very good ending. Character wise, Tom Cruise's character, I think it was a great development. Nathan Ald Algren, good, good development at the, at the beginning. You see he's, uh, you know, sick and tired of everything. He doesn't even care about living, just drinking all the time. And then being captured actually saved his life, like gave him his life meaning. The um, Katsumoto, great character. I'm I'm still a little confused why he was still a little confused why he was um, invited to the council. I guess so they would speak. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe they were trying to get them to surrender. Not sure. I think it was sweet. It was. It wasn't like. Oh my god, this movie is so amazing. This is the first of its kind. But it was very well made, I think. Oh, what was his name? Blue Armor Dude. I liked him in, uh, like, oh, he was uh, in Westworld. Also in Lost. I think it was a great movie. It's possibly a movie I'm going to rewatch. Not like immediately, but in the future, I think I'd like to rewatch it. All right, let me just see. Last Samurai. I'm actually very surprised that I got... Hans Zimmer as the composer. I don't know why. There was just like one song happening and I was like, oh my god, this sounds like Hans Zimmer's song. And turns out, yes, yes. Uh, little known fact, Tom Cruise spent almost two years in preparation for this movie, including swordplay instruction and Japanese language lessons. This is very, I, I love seeing the dedication to a role. I think it's it's just, it's great to see people take acting that passionately and that seriously. Filming took place in New Zealand, really, mostly in the Taranaki region with Japanese cast members and an American production crew. This location was chosen due to the fact that Egmont slash Mount Taranaki resembles Mount Fuji. Very interesting. I thought, I've never seen Mount Fuji, so I, I don't know, but clearly... Um, this was not even filmed in Jap Japan. But anyways, New Zealand is a place I really want to go visit also. Definitely. Oh no! <laughs> um, before the final battle, as Captain Algren dismounts after riding back to the ranks with Kasumoto, uh, his horse kicks out and hits a warrior in the groin. Ouch! That is terrible! I think it was great. The her trivia is nice. Obviously, I didn't know it was filmed in New Zealand. Makes sense to not film. I feel like so many times it's not filmed in the actual country, which is fine. Just, you know, I feel bamboozled. That's okay. It was, it was well made. Really well made. Very fun and sad and just great and epic also because there's like so, the final battle. Just so many people. It's just insane feel like filming that would have been a possible nightmare. Thank you for joining me on this, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And also, if you want to see my full-length reactions to movies, uh, you can sign up on my Patreon. The description is in the description. But again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.